Now, a second part of this, uh, that we're talking about making changes to any kind of a function here. Uh, we talked about if you replace x with negative x. Now we are going to look at if you replace y with negative y. All right, so that's if you take this y in the function here and instead change it to y equals negative f of x. Sorry, negative y equals f of x. If you change that y to a negative y, maybe we should stick with the same color here. All right, that's the change we're looking at making. Now, if we make that change, we're going to use this same function that we uh, that we used for uh, previously, this crazy absolute value function here. We're just going to name it. This is the first thing we're doing here. f of x is equal to that crazy function. Oops, with the 3 included. So then we can, we can graph it as y equals f of x, saying y equals that function that we put up there. Now, we're going to uh, see what happens here with, oops, we'll make this a different color so we can see what's happening. We'll put blue. Now what we're doing is we're putting a negative over here, right? We're putting negative y equals f of x. Now that looks to me like we've got um, another kind of reflection like we did before, except for this one is not a horizontal reflection. This one's a vertical reflection up and down, all right? And this, this vertex of this absolute value function we had is now at the top. This entire piece that's below the axis is now above the axis. And each of these pieces that are above the axis are now below the axis. All right, this is a, this is a vertical reflection. When you have that negative sign there, when you replace y with negative y, you get a vertical reflection. Parts below get reflected above, parts above get reflected below. The line that they get reflected in is the x-axis. It's a vertical reflection, but it's reflected across across that uh, that line. Okay, that's where this is picturing where the mirror is sitting, but the reflection is this direction, right, vertical. Now one thing to know here with this is um, if you have negative y equals f of x, that's the same as if you, uh, I'll duplicate that. That's the same as if you, um, oops, that's the same as if you put a uh, negative over here. Negative y equals positive f of x, same as positive y equals negative f of x, right? It's essentially you took this, if you multiply both sides by negative 1, you get this, but you haven't changed it. All right, these are the same. If we turn that one off, or if we turn that one off, they're the same place. All right, get the same thing there. So it doesn't matter which one of those you do. Often you'll see it written like this because people like to have the y isolated. The thing to realize is the difference between that uh, that other kind of reflection that we had. So let's uh, actually let's leave the negative there. Let's uh, duplicate this again, but we'll go back to the, the previous kind of, oops, we'll go back, go back to the previous thing we did, which was a negative inside here, all right? So this is getting kind of uh, kind of funky here. Let's, let's take away that one, and let's turn this into a different color here. Let's go uh, green with that one, all right? So we've got, we got two different things here. This is the original, that orange one. This was the vertical reflection, right? So we turn that one off. That's the vertical reflection. That's the horizontal reflection, right? Points go sideways. Related in your mind to where the negative sign is, if it's if it's applied before you apply the function, if you have the negative sign before you apply the function, it's a change in x, it's horizontal. If you apply the, the negative after you apply the function, it's vertical, changes the y values. Now we should look a little more specifically at this at a table. Okay, so this is this is that same absolute value function. And we'll just start with negative five, negative four, we'll we'll do that kind of thing like we did before with the others. And if we do that, we're going to compare, you know, any set of points here like this. 
It doesn't change the points much except for uh, the signs here. But if you compare these, this and this, for the same x value, the y values are opposite. That's a vertical reflection. If the only change in the point is the sign on the y values, that's a vertical reflection. Any point you look at here, that's the relationship. When the x value is 1, you get opposite sign y values here. That means that these are vertical reflections of each other. Okay, All the y values that were positive are now negative. All the y values that were negative are now positive. And then there's this one uh, special point in the middle there. You learned the term for that previously. That is in an invariant point. That point didn't change at all. All right. Are there any other invariant points on this list? If we look carefully, um, I'm guessing pretty. If we went one more here, we'd find another invariant point. There's the other invariant point, because when you look back at the graph, there was two. Right. There's two places here, negative 1, 0, and 5, 0. Those are the two invariant points. When you look at the table, negative 1, 0 is one of them, negative 5, zero, or 5, 0 is the other one. Those points don't change. Every other point, y value switches. But those points don't change. Those are called the invariant points. All right, so when we're looking at this, just to again recap this, uh, when you make this change here, okay, when you change y to negative y in a function, number one, it can be written two different ways. It can be written like that, or maybe we'll put the or first and then write the box, or you can write it with the negative over here. But the negative sign is outside of the function or after you apply the function, right? This is outside of that function. You apply it afterwards. The change is a vertical reflection. Okay, vertical reflection. The y values of all the points change. Okay, y values of all points change sign. All right? And that is vertical reflections.